Hi, I'm Dr. Jan McBride, and I'd like to show you some ways to protect yourself from the coronavirus, which causes the COVID-19 illness. Businesses are now opening, and we have more freedom to be out and about. And it's hard to know how much concern we should have in protecting ourselves. There's conflicting information. But there's one thing we do know, and that is people that are at high risk for serious or even fatal illness must be concerned about protection if they go out. One of the best and most efficient ways to protect yourself is with a face mask. I'm wearing a transparent face mask that I made from a soda bottle. It's very lightweight and easy to wear. And it's easy to breathe in and does offer quite good protection. In fact, this is probably more protective than a cloth face mask because this is plastic which repels water. So it will not absorb tiny droplets that may contain virus if someone coughs or sneezes around you. And if you wear eyeglasses like I do, that gives you additional protection for your eyes. Now, the plastic also keeps me from touching my nose or mouth that could also spread virus from contaminated hands. Now, I could still rub my eye under my glasses. So if I really needed more serious protection, a full plastic face shield would be a better option. But for most cases, I think this is a great option. And the thing that I like about it the most is that people can see you smile. It's so difficult going out and about and people have half their faces covered. It's really hard to recognize people and it's hard to feel like having a conversation. And so this is, I think, a much better option. And we don't know how much longer this is gonna go on that we have to protect ourselves with a mask. So I like this option. And I'm gonna tell you where you can get instructions to make it yourself. I have an additional mask to show you. And that's one that I call my hair salon mask. And I made this one from a water bottle. Very simple to do. And the thing about this mask, a couple things, it covers my entire face. So I'm protected from my eyes, nose, and mouth from touching it. And it also protects me from any kind of airborne virus. But because it only goes around my ears, this can allow my stylist to have full control of my hair and there's nothing to impede hair cutting and washing and all the different things that need to be done. So this is another one that's something you can make at home. And these masks have instructions how to make them at my website on GoFundMe. And this is a nonprofit campaign that I've developed to encourage people to protect themselves with masks and also a face shield that's also on the site. So I hope you'll visit it and make some masks for yourself and for other people. The main thing is let's just keep ourselves safe so that we can continue opening our economy and can avoid a second wave of illness. Thank you for watching my video.